Oh, late afternoon and heading out for a little snapper hunt. So, um, still a fair bit of swell, so it's fine in the kayak, just too rough for fishing on the rocks. But haven't been snapper fishing for a while, a really long time. So I figured if I can just come out here for an hour, an hour and a half and get a snapper or two, then killing it. Good exercise too. So just gonna flick soft plastics. I'm gonna head out to the reefs now and uh, let's get into it. Just a nice gentle little breeze blowing. Probably around eight knots, eight to ten knots, which just creates this nice little ruffle on the surface. There's no white caps. You get a little bit wet but definitely doable and the good thing about this breeze is it's just going to give me this nice drift along the reefs where I can just pepper soft plastic lures and use the wind to my advantage to really get that distance away from the kayak and just being really stealth because I'm not going to have to paddle I'm just going to use the breeze to sort of blow me around and drift over some zones that I think are pretty good um, just running bare bones today. Didn't bring the sounder out. I don't think I need it. I think I know these reefs pretty well, so I'm just gonna cruise around and flick plastics. Fingers crossed there's a snapper or two around. I mean, I'd be happy with one, but uh, yeah, more is always good too. Just keep them for a feed. It's so tasty. A few birds on the surface out here. I didn't bring gear to pop for kingfish or anything today i'm really just focused on snapper so see how we go i'm gonna run these today it's a garlic seven inch jerk shad i've actually never run these before i heard they're really good i usually use the yakka snack but these have just been sitting there i've been keeping them because i was going to go up north and it's just never happened so I'm just gonna use them here and see how we go I'm gonna pair that up with a 5.0 TT headlocks it's got the little eyes on it this one little pink which looks kind of cool uh, I can see some birds here like there might have been some pelagics you know up on the surface before feeding which could be a good sign sometimes the snapper will be underneath them just saw some bait jumping here. So, load this thing up. What I normally do is just put a little nick there, just so I can tell where the hook's gonna come out. Make sure it's just that right length. Try and thread it down the center as much as possible and out that little hole I made. You want this to be nice and flat that's pretty good so and then we're just gonna start peppering really get the drag set right 20 pound line 20 pound leader and then you just throw just flick here we go what do we got here See if I can get a good little drift going. Oh, there's a bit of current. See this current? That kind of looks a bit special. There's something going on here. So I'm gonna try and just cast downwind into this little current zone. A bit tighter. Feels pretty good. All right, let's see if we can get a big snaps. Just letting it sink. The snaps are usually taken on the drop and I'm counting as well. I think here it's probably like 15 seconds will probably get you pretty close to the bottom with that sort of jig head. Sometimes I'll just do a little flick flick, but 
the kingies tend to eat it if you do too many flicks so I just try not to do that and what I'm going to do is actually just be really quiet because the snapper get a bit spooked even though there's a plane flying over I think there's a bunch of kingfish or something around here see them on the surface there just some little there's a whole bunch of stuff happening around here Look at all this, see there's all this flotsam and jetsam. Seaweed floating in the water. It's definitely feeling pretty fishy. Come on, there's something, just ate it right there. Gotta get away from this rock. Maybe a big Sambo. Oh. What do we got? Oh, Tay Tay, might bite me off. Oh my gosh, big Taylor. Trying to get out of this wave zone. Hey, come here. These things are nasty. I'm gonna put a glove on. They definitely have some big, sharp teeth. Well, not big teeth, but really sharp teeth. Oh, big tay tay. They're very renowned for biting people. All right. Oh, good sized tailor. Just gonna hook this back on here. Makes it a bit harder with this thing here. A little flag. New addition to the yak. Okay, I gotta get out of this wave zone. It's, um, it's a pretty good sized tail. It's probably like 40 centimeters long, this one. I'm gonna keep this one and I might make a curry or something out of it or either that or use it for mulloway bait. Just um, put it out of its misery and get out of this wave zone. Then we can start peppering again, trying to get some snapper. Strapping this knife to my leg. Really has to get out of this wave zone though. Not a spot you want to be sitting. I think we're okay in here where we are. Alright, let's get this tailor in. this thing looking a little bit worse for wear but I reckon it's got a few more casts in it and always good to check the leader when you've had a Tay Tay on because they do have really sharp teeth so if the leader's nicked you might lose a really good snapper because of it
Yep. That's a good snap. Oh, come on. Yep, there it is. Oh. Oh, could be a kingy actually. There's some big head bumps though. Oh, come on. go down big head nods oh mate it's a good fish whatever it is oh probably a snap oh come on keep it off the bottom oh come on Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What do we got? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, come on. Oh, big red, big red. Look at this thing. Wow, that's a big snapper. How's it hooked? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Looks like it's a pretty good hook set. Come on, mate. Oh, yes. Nice, big red. Wow, look at this thing. That is amazing. Wow. Oh, that was exactly what I was after. Just throwing that plastic around. <laughs> Sick. That is so good. Big fat red, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh, yes man, that is a big red. I'm shaking, that was a good fight. Perfect time. Just got to quickly sort this thing out and then get casting again because if there's one, it could be multiple and yeah, that's a good fish man, that's like a... I don't know, but you have to weigh it. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is a really healthy big snapper. And it's coming home perfect. Big for around here. Look, you go up the coast and they're definitely much bigger, but this is this is a good size snapper for around here in Sydney. Really nice one to be able to come out in the kayak in the afternoon and just get this solid beast. Alright, I'm holding it nice and tight so it doesn't jump out of the yak. I think I'm gonna clean it up and uh, dispatch it and then just keep fishing and see if we can get another one because there's still a bit of time. <laughs> so sick. Oh, get that one in the cooler bag. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get another snaps. Mate, it's pretty hard to beat these afternoons out on the yak. Like, <laughs> fish like that. It's a good quality fish for in close in Sydney, in really shallow water in a kayak. Like, just epic, epic, epic. All right, let's uh, put a new little yak, uh, a new little garlicker on and get casting again. Ooh. Well. It was worth using that one for the bitter end, wasn't it? One tailor, one snapper. It's pretty good for these. They're like, these are biodegradable, so 
you go through them a lot quicker than soft plastics because these are really soft baits i think they're made from yeast um or starch sorry they're made from starch this is um they are really good though like really good so let's um okay we're on new rig everything looks good <laughs> that was so sick all right just kick back up wind again on the hunt Pepper pepperoni. All right, um, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna call it quits pretty soon. I'm just gonna have a few more casts. And if I catch anything, you'll know about it. There's some logs floating around here, which aren't the best. My rudder. Um, yeah, I better kind of head in so I can still see. I'm um, gonna have a few more casts, but pretty slow. I mean, got that one really good snapper and got that tailor, so can't complain. We've got enough food. It's, um, it's been a really fun little session just to be out here. It's been so long. Just gonna head in. I want to push it. The wind's kind of easterly, so it's got a lot of east in it, so it's pushing me into the rocks and not the best wind for staying out too late. I got out super late too, so didn't have much of a window. I only had like an hour or so out here. But, um, it's good. Anyway, I'm going to keep heading home. Yeah, I wanted to get in a little bit early because there's actually quite a few waves today and it would be hard to come in in the absolute dark. I can still see now, there's still enough light. Um, jeez, I can see a wave coming. I'm just gonna try and get in over this and then I'm gonna have to jump out and spin this thing around. Here it comes a wave. Spin it, spin it, spin it. See, if you get it into the swell, it's all good. But if you side on or you're facing backwards, then that's when you get in trouble. You know, just got to keep the nose into the waves and sort of try and be patient and get right in. Oh, bit of a rock. Oh, okay. Oh. That's all good, see? As long as you keep the nose in there like that. Oh, big rock, big rock. Now just roof it up. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh. In, safe, successful. All right. Best snapper that I've ever seen really just great fat content and I decided to break it up into some different pieces. This first bit I'm going to steam with spring onions and ginger. Really good Asian style dish and one of my favorite ways to cook snapper. I think it just makes it taste absolutely amazing. So we'll let that steam. Um, next what I did is I knocked off a couple of fillets and sashimied one of those. The other one I'm going to keep for a snapper burger. I'm just putting some oil and some salt on this. I'm going to put this frame in the fridge. I'm going to cook that up on the barbecue for lunch. Next step is to get some peanut oil, make that really hot. Once the snap is steamed and ready to go, then pour some soy sauce on the top of it, just a little bit, not too much soy, and then the really hot peanut oil as well. And what I do is chuck some broccolini in there and steam that up at the same time I'm steaming the snapper so you've got a really nice dish 
serve it with some rice and some sashimi and the sashimi was A+. Catch you next time.